Hello all signs, this is uh, the Cosmic Readings and Messages for July 2019. I apologize for the delay, I've been kind of busy with other things. Um, just a quick reminder for this channel, I do not do astrology, so I'm only using the signs as a way to categorize because everybody knows their sign. Uh, if you're looking for astrological type readings, there are many other channels for that. I'm just getting the messages from the spirits and angels and from the other side um, to see what messages they have for you using the angel cards and the tarot cards that you see right there. I'll be getting to your sign in just a moment. Uh, as always, you can uh, feel free to like this page or make a comment. Uh, I'm open to those. Uh, let me know if these resonate with you. Uh, it gives me an idea of whether I should keep this channel going or not. We've been doing it for a couple of months. And uh, also, don't forget to check the intro video to the channel to let you know a little bit about my background. Um, I don't do this professionally, but I do have a connection with the other side. So uh, check that out for more information. And uh, with that, we now move on to your sign. Hello, my Taurus friends, and I'm a Taurus too. So uh, you don't see any cards there on the table because I haven't put them out there. I'm going to do things sort of freeform fast uh, for, for July 2019. So one card, uh, one major arcana card to represent the entire month or what's left of the month. I, I apologize for this slight delay this month, getting things out. And then three minor cards to represent the beginning, middle, and end of the month. Or maybe they'll tell a story. Um, and then one angel card to help reinforce the message. So let's see what comes up. And the first card you got, Taurus, is Death. Your main card for the entire month. Not a bad card, so don't think of death as actual death. And that's, that card is about um, an ending that needed to happen, an ending that has to happen so that a new beginning, see that light in the background? Death is dark, but you've got the light in the background, the light at the end of the tunnel. So let's see what the rest of the message is. Uh, three minor cards representing the beginning, middle, and end of the month, or to just tell a story for the entire month. So for my Taurus friends, spirits and angels, please come forward. Three minor cards to represent the month of July, or what's left of it. Okay. You've got the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles there. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is talking about... Uh, well, the Pentacles usually represent money. So um, working for yourself, um, maybe being alone... Uh, but you have the life of luxury. It's a nine. You're close to ten. You're close to completing. So it's good. You know, it, it's, a, it's a good card. Um, you're self-sufficient. It could also represent financial gain. Um, pleasures for yourself. Enjoying yourself. Uh, you, you see that woman there? She's She's very happy. And she's wearing her red. And she's got her little bird. You know, so death... There's an ending coming that has to happen, or maybe it is happening, and then everything's going to be okay. You're going to be self-sufficient. Uh, let's see what other message you have. The second minor card for the month of July 2019 for my Taurus friends. Okay. This one popped. You got the uh, Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords, of course, that's completion, but... Um, you know, the swords, uh, you know, it, it represents, uh, well, it could be a number of different things. The, the Ten of Swords is about um, embracing uh, a change or completion. You, you're also recovering with that Ten of Swords. Again, completion. Um, the Ten of Swords also uh, can be painful. It's a painful ending. Uh, and you've reached the rock bottom. So again, that ties into your death card. You've got something that's ending and completing, but you've got something good here, you know, with that 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 nine there. Um, let's see what your other message is for the month of July or the rest of July. Okay. 
You've got the... I'm, you know what? That card was not really what was supposed to come out. I, I flipped that card. So let me just shuffle real quick here. And what other message do we have for my Taurus friends for the rest of July 2019? Oh, there we go. And you've got the Two of Wands. There we go. So Two of Wands. And... Um, Two of Wands is um, about a choice. You know, the twos are usually like one or the other. you got to make up your mind. Um, in this case, it's also about making a choice. Um, you're waiting for results. And it could also represent that you're making travel plans. Um, what else? Because twos are duality. Again, you know, you're, you're, um, you're trying to decide there. Your Two of Wands... Is, is also talking about um, making progress and a new discovery. You know, you look at the card there, and it's like he's looking out and, and making a choice on a new discovery. You know, you could think of it that way. So what's going on here is we we've, we've definitely have a message here, and I don't think it's beginning, middle, and end of the month. I think this is just an overall message. You got this death card, and, you know, this this what looks like a painful Ten of Swords here, but that represents completion. The Death card and the Ten of Swords there are both about completion. Something has to end for something new to happen. You're going to make the decision. You're going to go out on a new journey. You're going to make a choice. That choice is going to be good. You're going to become self-sufficient. And uh, this, if, if this holds true even for myself, because I'm looking for work myself, um, this month could be the month and this is similar to last month my Taurus friends I, I'm following Taurus because I happen to be one um, things are improving things are gonna get better you need to get through this ending to start something new and if you if you're feeling sort of out in the cold and you're maybe worried because of this ending just remember you got a choice coming up and it, this may be spilling over into August I would say follow your heart because the cards are here telling you that this was meant for a reason. These two cards are playing off each other. That death card, something has to end. Things are going to end for a reason so that you can move on. Let's see what the angel card, wow, okay, that was, that was fast, but that wasn't the right card because I did not do this properly. All right, my Taurus friends, the angel message that you have for the month of, okay, all right, th this, this card did come out, and you guys have Athena. And it's, it is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. This, this plays off of these cards. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way. And yes, Taurus, I, you know we can be stubborn. <laughs> And we can sometimes be a little overpowerful. We, we tend to get in the way of ourselves sometimes and others take us the wrong way. But we can also be very, very loving. And this is where this comes forward. That Athena card is telling us we can be powerful. This is this ending. This ending that's going to happen or it is you're in the progress of it. I'm getting this feeling you're in the progress of it. Is leading to something better. You're going to have to make a choice. And you can be powerful in a loving way. This could be, I'm getting job. I am getting job here. Uh, this could also be a relationship. One relationship is ending, and another one's going to begin. And it's a better one. Um, something has to be completed. Uh, this could be a divorce for some of you. Um, I'm not going to get into boyfriends, girlfriends on the side, and the other person found out or anything like that, but the next chapter is going to be better and whatever has been going on has to end and it's going to get better so I'm, I'm also getting that somebody's in the middle of a divorce or is thinking about a divorce or has been threatened with divorce um, that has to end that that marriage that union has to end there is something better and it is going to get better um, again I'm not I'm not going to judge anyone but something was wrong there and that ending had to happen. 
Um, I mean, yes, divorces can be traumatic. And again, abrupt ending. That death card has to happen. And there's light in the distance. Move forward. Uh, the choice is you have to make that choice to, to move forward in that case. Uh, this could also just be financial. Of course, that would be tied into work. But my Taurus friends, again, leading to something better. I'm going to go ahead. I don't do this all the time, but um, just to see if there is another message from the minor cards for my Taurus friends. Uh, uh, all right. This card just flipped. It just flew out into my hand. You guys got an ace. The ace of swords. I'm just going to throw this right on top. You've got the ace of swords. I love all the aces because they're just, they're just good, you know. <laughs> and um, the ace of swords is talking about a new idea, gaining insight, having clarity. So that, I'll consider that your final message because I wasn't going to pull another card and, and then I decided I was going to. You're going to get clarity. This is all going to work out. Um, yeah, and mental clarity, you know. Um, it could also represent a new conflict, but new conflicts can be good. Uh, it can help you learn more. It can help you cope with more. Um, and you're, be you're being given this chance. Your ending has to happen for something better, and it's being given to you with this ace. It's being handed to you. It's like, here you go. The universe is saying, take this ace and run. You can be powerful in a loving way. So there you go. I hope this resonates with all my Taurus friends because I'm getting a very, very good message. And I'm thinking it's going to end with this card. I think this is a story, you know, uh, I'm just looking at this, this nine of pentacles. You are reaching the end of the pentacles. Um... You know, this is, you know, luxury, self-sufficiency, financial gain. It, it's all going to be there. It's all going to work out. This is part of this ace. And I think this card came first. I'm actually getting a message here that this card came first because right after death. Um, what I'm just getting now is this happened for a reason. The spirits and angels already knew what other cards were going to pop. They already knew what, how this was going to be. They wanted to tell you right off the bat, good stuff's coming. Self-sufficiency. Finances. You're going to be happy. So, And the universe is giving it to you. Get, just handing this ace to you. Here you go. It's yours. So make your choice. Be powerful, yet loving. Be ready for that change. And, and move on. And it's all going to work out. So there you go, my Taurus friends. It's all going to work out. All for the better. All right. Thanks for watching.